Hello everybody. I'm going to be going back over lesson 8.4. Uh, apparently the first version, uh, something happened with the recording of the sound. So we'll try again. Lesson 8.4, page 333 of the third grade textbook. Fractions of a whole. And our essential question that we should be able to answer by the end of the lesson is, how does a fraction name a part of a whole? So let's look at the unlock the problem. The first pizzeria in America opened in New York in 1905. The pizza recipe came from Italy. Look at Italy's flag. What fraction of the flag is not red? Okay, so we can name equal parts of a whole. A fraction can name more than one equal part of a whole. The flag is divided into three equal parts, and two parts are not red. So if two parts are not red, that will be the number we write at the top of our fraction. That's the numerator. That's how many parts, how many one-third parts we're counting. The three equal parts in all tell me how many equal parts are in the whole flag. Or in any hole, the bottom number is always how many parts are in that hole. And we read two thirds or two parts out of three equal parts. And you write it as two fraction bar three. So two thirds of the flag is not red. Now, general math idea when all the parts are shaded, one whole shape is equal to all of its parts. It represents the whole number one. If each part of this was red, then the whole thing, three out of three would be red. All right, so a couple key terms in a fraction that we, we need to know and we need to be able to keep them straight. The numerator tells how many parts are being counted. So, if I have thirds, as in the flag, I'm counting, in this case, it wanted to know how many were not shaded. My numerator represented how many one-thirds were not red. The denominator tells how many equal parts are in the whole or in the group. Again, referring to the map, the three in the denominator here, the bottom part of the fraction, tells me that the flag has three equal parts. Okay, so you can count equal parts, such as sixths, to make a whole. So here we see that we have six equal parts. So that's why the denominator is six. There are six equal sections. And this fraction is one-sixth because only one-sixth of the rectangle is, is shaded. And then we go to the next one, and we see that we have two one-sixths shaded. And we write that fraction as 2 over 6. The next one, we see 3 parts shaded. And we can write that as 3 sixths. Next, there are 4 parts shaded. So we would write that fraction as 4 over 6 and say it as 4 sixths. The next one, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts shaded. So 5 sixths is shaded. Five sixths of the square is shaded. And last, the whole thing shaded. So one whole, six sixths is shaded. All right. So for example, six sixths equals one whole, or we would write it as one. Okay. Because the whole square is shaded. All right. Now, on 334, let's try some of these. Write the missing word or number to name the shaded part. Well, <clears throat> so the denominator tells me that there are six equal parts. Let's see if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And the two in the numerator tells me that there are two shaded. There are two one-sixth parts shaded. So I would write that as two sixths. I'm sorry.
two in, in number form, two six. All right, and this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. So each shaded one is one eighth of the rectangle. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. Five eighths is shaded. Number three, uh, C. They're telling us that two thirds of this circle is shaded. Well, I do see three equal parts, so that's why the denominator is three. One third, two thirds. We have two thirds are shaded. In this next one, the whole thing is shaded, so that's why it's or one. Well, how many equal parts are there? There's six. So if it's one whole, there has to be six that are shaded. One six, two six, three six, four six, five six, six sixths. So we would say six sixths or one whole. All right, say two parts out of eight equal parts. Write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. So it doesn't matter where we shade or which two squares we shade. Because each one is equal, right? So if two parts are shaded, we read that as two eighths. We would write that fraction as two eighths, two out of eight equal parts. Number two, write the fraction that names each part. Write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. So each part, one, two, three, four parts. Each part is one fourth. Write the fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. There are one, two, fourths shaded, and so we would write that as a fraction as two fourths. Okay, now our next one, each part is one, two, three, four, five, six. Each part is one six, one, two, three. Three sixths is shaded. So we will write that as three out of six equal parts. In number four, one, two, three, four, there are four equal parts. There are one, two, three, one fourth pieces shaded. And we write that as three over four, which stands for three out of four equal parts. Write the fraction that names each part. Write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. Each part. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts. So each part is one eighth of the square. And there are how many parts shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven eighths. So as a fraction we write seven over eight, seven out of eight parts. Number six, each part, there are one, two, three equal parts. So each part is one third, one, two parts are shaded. And so how do we write two thirds? We write two thirds as two over three. Number seven, each part is what? There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six total parts, so each one is one sixth. How many are shaded? One, two, three, four. 
four, six. And we write it as four over six. Number eight, each part is one, two, three, four. Each part is one fourth of the shape. There are one, two parts shaded. So two fourths is written two over four. In number nine, each part, one, two parts, so each part is one half. There are two halves shaded, both parts are shaded. How do we write two halves? We write two halves as two over two or one. We have one whole. Number 10. How many total pieces, how many equal parts are in the whole? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each little square makes up one eighth of the whole. How many parts are shaded? One, two, three. Three eighths. And we write that as three out of Shade the fraction circle to model the fraction, then write the fraction in numbers. All right, so six out of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of eight. Three fourths. One, two, three. Three fourths is shaded. Three out of three. Two, three. That's the whole thing, right? Three out of three or one. Number 14, one out of two. All right, so how do we write that as a fraction? One out of two, one half, five sixths, one, two, three, four, Five. How do you write five sixths? Five over six. Sixteen. One out of four. Okay. That model shows me one fourth. Page 336, number 17. Use the diagram for 17 and 18. So we're going to use these models of pizzas. Mrs. Ormond ordered pizza. Each pizza had eight equal slices. So that means each slice is an eighth, right? What fraction of the pepperoni pizza was eaten? What part of the pepperoni pizza was eaten? How much is missing? Obviously, these are still on the pan, so they haven't been eaten. So there's one, two pieces or slices missing. So two out of the eight slices of pepperoni was eaten. Okay, now there's a second part to this question. And it says, what fraction of the cheese pizza is left? What fraction of the cheese pizza is left? So we know that there were eight slices because they told us that each pizza had eight equal slices. And there's one, two, three out of those eight slices left. So three eighths of the cheese pizza is left.
All right. Number 18, use the picture of the veggie pizza to write a problem that includes a fraction. Okay, and then solve your problem. Well, they modeled a couple questions here for us. So we could say how much of the veggie pizza has been eaten? Or how much of the veggie pizza is left? Okay, so you, you just have to decide. So um, I'm going to say what fraction of the veggie pizza was eaten? Okay, again, we know there are eight total pieces, slices, and was eaten. So there's one, two, three slices that are missing. So three eighths was eaten. Okay, number 19. Kate says that two fourths of the rectangle is shaded. Describe her air. Well, the denominator can't be four. Because there are one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts in the whole. Not four. So should say. Two sixths. And number 20. Select a numerator and a denominator for the fraction that names the shaded part of the shape. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight equal parts. So the denominator has to be eight. And then how many are shaded? How many eighths are shaded? One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. So there are five one eighth parts shaded. All right, so that's it for lesson 8.4. The next time, next session will be covering lesson 8.5, fractions on a number line. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.